um, you know, work to do. You know, he's uh, he's extremely smart. And then, like you're saying, it's a great question. It's tying that together and physically getting the outcome you want. So he's still working on consistency and all those things, but it's coming. It's coming along. The rotation with him and Dylan, how's that competition going? It's been great. And um, I think they both appreciate it. They're both fighting like crazy. Um, and they both want, obviously, that job. And uh, it's been good. It's been good for both of them. Biggest challenge for, for Dylan. It look, looks like the run blocking, pretty pretty stout, pretty solid in, in terms of the pass protection. What is maybe a point or two that, that you guys like emphasize? With yeah, him? you know, I, I agree. I think he's doing a nice job in the run game, and um, you know, in drop back protection, as always with all of our tackles, it's the top of the pocket, and that's where these guys are really good, really good defensively, and they get paid a lot of money and. Um, it's just keeping his feet alive and staying in phase. And uh, but he's making strides, and you know we're happy with where he's coming. What has Aaron Brewer done to kind of? I'm not gonna say solidify that left guard spot, but like put himself in a good position. Yeah, I think you know. Um, I think with Aaron, he is just he's extremely athletic and he's really tough. And so. He just, he comes out and works the same way every day. You know exactly who you're getting. You know, um, it doesn't matter who he's going against. It could be a 12 year all pro player or a rookie. You're gonna get the same player. And so we love his consistency. We love his speed and we love his toughness. Um, and, uh, you know, he's doing a nice job. Is How much are you for looking for like that to plug in between two veterans or is it harder because they're gonna you know they, they expect them to be up to speed with them almost no I think it's always easier when you're you're lined up to both sides with a veteran who's kind of been there before it can help settle you it can get you in the right call but with all that being said you know he's kind of going into his third year now and um, you know he's doing a nice job knowing the calls knowing the playbook and getting in the right spot at the right time. So um, it, it's nice really to have three veterans. All, all three of them, I would say, are uh, you know veterans at this point. He's doing a really nice job too. And I really thought he was making strides um, the last probably week in camp. And then obviously uh, he's a little banged up right now. So that, that kind of put everything on hold. Um, but he's doing a nice job. He has really good athleticism and length, and I think like he's finally started to find his groove and um, and and in our offense and what we're asking him to do. So just want to get him back out there again. Corey Levin's had a couple different stints here with this team. What what does he kind of have to do to latch on um, in a more consistent way with you guys? Yeah, I think with Corey, you know, he. Um, it's so funny. He's a completely different player in person than he was three years ago. And uh, he's really matured and, um, you know, football is important to him. And uh, but he's like everybody else. At the end of the day, it's it's can he do his job on a consistent basis and stay attached in the run game and uh, make the right calls and get everybody in the right position. So those are the things we're looking for, you know, from him. Operationally, how do you feel like he did? I know preseason is a little different, but how do you think he performed in the preseason? I think he did a nice job. I think he went out there, he made the right calls. I think he played hard. Um, and, uh, you know, I think the next step for him is, is you know, basically sustaining in, in the run game in particular. Yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> Taylor is, is, uh, has a big personality and a lot of energy. And so, yeah, I mean, there's times you got to be like, all right, man, it's somebody else's turn. Um, <laughs> But overall, you know, the guys love him, and he, he kind of keeps everybody going. As long as the same lines, I mean, Ben got the head, had the nerve to get the head coach yesterday on his birthday. What, what's the craziest thing you've seen him do or, or, the, or the best prank he's pulled? Um, man, I have literally, he, if it's your birthday, stay clear. So what he did to Raves yesterday, um, he's done to about <laughs> 15 or 20 people in the last four years. So... All I know is I just keep telling them, like, your hands are really heavy and really thick. You just don't go knocking anybody out, man. Take it easy. Um, but, yeah, he's fun that way. Does he know your birthday? Oh, yeah. We share the same birthday, so oh. I'm safe. Oh, is that? That's right. He's always on vacation celebrating his, so I know I don't have anything to worry about. <laughs>